find the domain and range of f. Classify the surface and sketch a graph. And we are given f of x, y is equal to the square root of 49 minus x squared minus y squared. So the first thing we want to do is find the domain. So looking at our given function here, we see that we have a square root. So we know that the inside of radicand must be positive. So we have 49 minus x squared minus y squared must be greater than or equal to 0, which we can then rewrite as 49 is greater than or equal to x squared plus y squared. So therefore, the domain is the set of all ordered pairs, x, y, such that x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 49. And so we can make a little love note here to ourselves that this is the set of all points, x, y, and r2, that are on and within a circle of radius 7 a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 7. So drawing ourselves a quick sketch in R2 of our domain here, we have the x and y axis, and our domain is the set of all points that are on this circle of radius 7 and within this circle shading everything in on the inside. So let's now classify this surface. So we want to keep in mind here that for a function f of x, y in R3, you can say that this is also defined as z is equal to f of x, y. And so we can rewrite our given surface here as z is equal to the square root of 49 minus x squared minus y squared. And to identify or classify our surface here, we want to remove the square root. So we can square both sides of the equation, which leave us with z squared is equal to 49 minus x squared minus y squared. And bringing all the variables to one side, we're left with x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 49. And so we recognize this surface here as a sphere centered at the origin with a radius of 7. But we want to keep in mind that that's not the original function we started with. So we can say that, therefore, since z is equal to positive square root, of 49 minus x squared minus y squared that our function f is a hemisphere or the upper half of a sphere centered at the origin with a radius of 7. And so sketching a graph here, we have our z-axis and our x-axis and y. And so we have the upper half of our hemisphere that's centered at the origin with a radius of 7. And so we'll corp incorporate a couple of trace curves here to appreciate our three-dimensional surface. And so we can see that this hemisphere here is sitting on the xy plane, which we recognize from our domain. So the xy plane we know is defined by the equation z is equal to zero. Because we have a hemisphere with a radius of 7, we know that the largest z value is going to be 7. So from the sketch of our surface here, we can identify that the range of our function is all real numbers greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 7. And so this is our beautiful function here, our hemisphere, the upper half of a sphere 
defined as the square root of 49 minus x squared minus y squared.